In this video, we will learn about a module known as aggregator, which aggregates the RSS feed from external websites. So it, this is important. Let's say you want to read the RSS feed of any other website. So you can easily import it with this module. For getting the module, go to extend. Here you can see we have reached the extend section where modules are listed. These are the default of modules available. So it is by default provided by Drupal, but it is not enabled. So we will install and enable it. Here we will type the name. So here you can see I have typed a filter text and through that the aggregator is visible, module is visible. So you can see it is not enabled right now. We will click on it and click on install. Here you can see the module has been enabled, module aggregator has been enabled. So now we will go to the settings to check that how we can add a new feed. For that go to configuration, go to submenus, web services. Here you can see the aggregator option is visible, click on it. Here you can see the aggregator module settings have, have been enabled. Here you can see right now no feed is added. Here you can also read that many sites publish their headless in post in feed. So through this we can easily add it. You can easily add a new feed by clicking on add feed. Here you can see the section to add a new feed is visible. Here you can add a title. Let's say you want to add the feed of any other website. You want to show their content on your website with the permission you can easily do that. For that let's say we will give an example of the website tutorials point. So let's add some title and the URL. URL would be in the form of feeds.feedburner.com which is the official website for getting RSS feed. So let's go for it. So here you can see I have added the title web feed with the URL feed. This is a feed URL feeds.feedburner.com slash tutorials point. Here you can add any website if you have the feed URL of that website. By default I am taking an example of tutorials point. Here you can see that you have to add the fully qualified URL of the feed. Here you can check the update interval. Do you want the feed to be updated after how much time? So you can add it. The default one is one hour. Here you can read the length of time between feed updates. Here you can check. You can additionally add the feed updates here also by selecting the option one hour, three hours, 18 hours or two days or any other option. Or if you don't want to, so you can click on never. But right now we are going for the default, which is one hour. So select it and click on save. Here you can see the feed web feed has been added. So we have successfully added it. So in this video we learned how we can easily go for feeds and we can import feed of any other website so that we can read their content on our website. Thank you for watching.